Director Williams, let me ask you something about the first 50 years of the Peace Corps. The vision of President Kennedy is still very much alive from the responses you've gotten in the sessions. But tell us what you think is going to happen in the next 50 years. Well, I think in the next 50 years you're going to see that Americans will continue to want to serve, uh, both domestically but in the case of the Peace Corps internationally. And why is that? It's because young people today realize that in order to be effective global citizens, they have to have an experience in a different society, in a different country. And the Peace Corps provides that unique bridge to allow them to gain that experience overseas. Innovation is very much a, a buzzword today, but the Peace Corps has been an innovator since it mm -hmm. started. Can you talk a bit about some of the innovations that Peace Corps has made over the years to try mm -hmm. and bring new technology, new techniques, partnerships with other government mm -hmm. agencies to serve the good of people where the Peace Corps serves? Well, I, th I think the reason why Peace Corps is such an innovative organization is because every wave of new generation of Peace Corps volunteers, they bring their new skills and their new technology and their learnings from the university uh, into the developing world. Right now we have volunteers who are using this technology to help combat malaria around the world, to really walk that last mile to provide the messages of prevention and awareness regarding HIV AIDS in Africa, for example. Uh, we also find that volunteers are very are acutely aware of the need to confront issues regarding the environment. And uh, in a village in, in Africa, Asia, they might realize that they have an environmental problem, but they aren't quite sure how to actually assess their ability to solve that problem. Young Americans coming into a village, speaking the language, working at the grassroots level every day, confronting those problems with them can help them solve that. Well, thank you. Let me just ask you one important question at the end. You mentioned in your conversation today that there are about 20,000 Peace Corps volunteers, or 20,000 uh, people who want to be in the Peace Corps, and yet there are mm -hmm. so few slots. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity for the United States to build on the success. What are the ways that you think people could serve? You mentioned the university relationships, mm -hmm. the master's degree with Peace mm -hmm. Corps. Talk to us and talk to the public about some of those opportunities so people will be aware of them. Well, we have two great opportunities for uh, regarding the Peace Corps. First of all, if you're interested in graduate school, you can apply to the Peace Corps and also to something we call to the Master's International Program with our 50, 60 university partners across the country, major universities. You apply to the Peace Corps, you, get apply, you apply to the university, you get admitted, you do your coursework for the first year, then you go overseas and complete two years of Peace Corps service. Then you return and you use that as a base for your thesis and your final project. Then we also have, for those who, uh, volunteers who are returning, something called the Fellows Program. You come back, you can get a fellowship at, again, 60 or 70 different partners across the country. And Peace Corps volunteers make wonderful graduate students. They're okay. in great demand by university presidents, by deans. Uh, they enrich the dialogue with their fellow students. They enrich uh, the interaction with their professors, and they really make a difference. So there's something that we're really uh, uh, concerned about. We want to continue to support. And it represents the finest tradition of the Peace Corps, because after all, we started on the campus of the university with uh, then-Senator Kennedy in 1960 at the University of Michigan. Well, thank you, Director Williams. It's clear that volunteerism is still alive with the number of applicants mm -hmm. that the Peace Corps gets, and we appreciate your celebrating the 50th anniversary with CSIS today. Well, Johanna, I want to thank CSIS for this opportunity to celebrate the Peace Corps. Uh, I thought it was a wonderful panel uh, of uh, people who had been transformed by the Peace Corps, who now are leaders in Congress. And of course, we had the great opportunity to have the legendary Senator Harris Walford, who walked with Kennedy and Shriver in this endeavor and this wonderful success story. Thank, Thank you. you.